Greetings, YouTube. This is Farmer Son Prepping again. Coming to you today with the sixth video. The this there. Uh, the sixth video in the New to Prepping Start Here video series for new preppers or step by step prepping, whatever you want to call it. So, the number one step would have been water storage and water filtration multiple ways of doing both number two would have been food multiple ways of storing food canned food dry goods freeze dried uh number three would have been sanitation number four would have been security or was security uh and number five was medical and today video series number six we're going to talk about it is now time to start creating something that is called by a thousand different names. Basically, it's a go kit. It's the simplest way I know to put it. You need a kit, something you can grab and go. People call them bug out bags, get home bags, survival bags, uh, inch bags, whatever. Yeah, you know, there's a million names for them. Okay. Whatever you choose to call yours is what you choose to call it. Now, I'm going to tell you, bugging out is something you really don't want to do unless you have to. You still have to plan for it. Uh, you have to plan for both. If you're going to be a bunker in guy, then you still need to plan, have a plan for the other as well. So, you don't want to put you and your family out there living as refugees uh, if you don't have to. Okay? So, let's get that right out of the gate. I suggest bunkering in your home. Uh, that's ground that you know, that's territory that uh, you know most about. It'll be easier probably to defend depending on situations. So anyway, all that said, uh, here we go, into the video. So here we have some things laid out here. Uh, this is my current, y'all recognize that from the last video, this is my current survival bag that's what i used to call mine okay the reason i call mine a survival bag i have a bug out location there are supplies stashed there so this is my survive till i get to the bug out location bag so this is my survival bag you can call it a bug out bag whatever you want to call it. go kit go bag uh but i started out i wanted to show y'all that i started out with something way smaller this is an old red rock sling right here. So very small. It's it's. I started off small, y'all. I really did. Uh, I wasn't able to afford the Maxpedition, and you know all the high priced equipment that's in this one now. I started off buying buying Walmart stuff. You could start off buying Walmart stuff. It's cheap. It will work uh, for the most part, and. Uh, it will get you through till you get to a position where you can start um, changing out one item at a time and buying an upgrade. Upgrade each item one at a time as you get the money, as you get to where you're able to. Uh, I will not be going through this bag today. I've already got a video of me going through this bag. I will put a link to it uh, in the description if you want to go see what's in this bag. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the range of how you start out. You start out small, and you can progress up to something like this or bigger, depending on what you and your family need. I'm a single person. I live alone. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is my life if I have to leave my home. This is it. Uh, so, we want to talk about some of the things that will go in your very first go kit. Uh course remember y'all step number one water uh want to think about some water purification pills these are coleman these are uh one of these pills here is for the actual purification one just makes the water taste a little better so here's a life straw this is one of the first things i bought as far as water purification goes these are better than nothing okay but don't uh, don't don't risk your life on this piece of equipment here okay y'all it's something to start off with 
and we have bar soap some cheap fishing line here's a little uh you know a little cheap boo-boo kit some hand warmers some gloves uh something to eat with uh fire starting equipment here a small ferro rod you know what these are jute twine is a, is a really good tender it'll take a spark real easy matches of course storm proof matches as well uh, these are all things you can get at walmart uh, relatively cheap um, a little emergency poncho a little note notebook and uh, i suggest instead of a pen i suggest a mechanical pencil to go with your notebook it's not pictured here but anyhow um I laid this pair of socks here, uh, clothes. You will need a couple changes of clothes in here, in your bag. Uh, you will need a, a water container of some sort. Uh, this is an old clean canteen. Uh, and, uh, you know, it needs to be single wall, something you can boil water on a fire with. Um, so that's a way to purify water as well, is boiling your water, okay? Uh, compass. You can start out with a cheap compass. Uh, the old cheap Walmart type are fine. Do you have the base plate type that go down on a map or do you have the uh, lensatic style here uh, pictured right here? Uh, so you can you, you can start off doing the Walmart thing, y'all. But then uh, as you can, you can uh, progressively get uh, more quality items later on if you choose to do so. Uh, this is a little multi-tool i've got a little walmart multi-tool but i cannot lay my hands on it right now so this is one i carry this is my everyday carry victorian ox um swiss army knife anything with a can opener and a saw on it is usually good uh of course it has a regular knife blade on it as well uh and with something like this something as small as this uh you know if you're out in the woods trying to make it to a point A to point B or trying to survive, uh, this will help you. Of course, cordage, always very important. Have some cordage. Uh, this is 550 paracord. This is what military uses or has used in the past. This is bank line. This is number 36 tarred twisted bank line, okay? This has a uh, test rating of about 350 pound test. Uh, so... And it's tarred, which means it holds up to UV light. It doesn't break down. This is why it's used in fishing a lot. That's why it's called bank line, okay? Uh, so definitely need to have cordage, a pair of gloves, some hand warmers. Now, your, your, your pack, your kit's going to change uh, seasonally. Uh, you may need wool gloves and wool hats and that type of thing. Of course, you know, heavy winter clothes. Um, and then you'll have summer you know you'll change it up for the summertime something not pictured here is food you'll need some food maybe some cliff bars or some granola something like that something you can eat on the go perhaps a mountain house meal or two that's freeze-dried uh, adventure meal uh, so, uh, also not pictured here your important documents your family's important documents deeds to your land uh, to your home uh titles to your car birth certificates uh social security cards that type of thing something you don't want to leave behind for somebody to find or for like if you're leaving in case of a wildfire you don't want to lose that to a fire uh so something to think about it's time this is uh step number six in your new to prepping start here series it's time to start thinking about putting together some sort of go kit okay just a general idea here for you. Uh, not everybody's go kit will be the same. If you live in the desert, your kit's going to be different. Your kit will reflect that. If you live uh, up north, your kit, your kit, your kit, excuse me, should reflect that. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope this all helps. I'm doing this to help people. I make no money off of these videos. I'm not uh, monetized in any way. So. Uh, if you like what you see, if you like this series, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like. Uh, we appreciate you, the viewer. Okay, this is Farmer Son Prepping. God bless y'all. Stay prepped up.